my next video. It's a motorcycle turntable. So I can turn my motorcycles around. In the garage. Eat licorice. I think I'm getting sick. We're back outside. I'm outside of my garage right now. Gotta cut this wood to finish this. This is my spinner. You buy this on Amazon, it's like 15 bucks. And you gotta mount it on a piece of wood and then mount the other one on top of it. So I'm just gonna cut this quick. It's gonna get loud. I know I'm supposed to wear eye protection. Wear eye protection, wear eye protection. Okay? And I'm just gonna cut this quickly. Hold on a second. actually doing the project okay so this is this this is going to mount on here there's a little trick i'll show you how to make it how to, how to hook it on and we'll go from there so hold on a second i'll be right back i gotta get a drill okay got the rest of the tools and i want to explain this because i see a lot of people do these on on the internet on the youtube channels the way this works is this part with the flat part this is the bottom part the part with the beveled up on the top is the top. So you gotta mount this to the floor. Now the secret is, see this little hole right here? This hole, if you look through, you can see access to these holes right here. So after you hook it to the base, you can then flip it around and then you can drill holes here. The problem is this hole has to go through the base. So you gotta line this up on your base here and mark off where that hole is. If you can mark off where that hole is, I'll show you in a second. I'm actually gonna do two of them. Why not? Okay. You mark off what the hole is. See the hole? And then you take a spade bit. These are called spade bits. One that'll fit that hole. And you drill a hole through your piece of wood. I'll show you. It's not an endorse. This is not an endorsement of rigid, but love this drill. Anyway. Take it, put it through the center right here. I'm doing two just because. Okay. Now you got two holes. Doesn't have to look pretty, it's on the bottom. If I put this wood back on here, line up those two holes. Okay, you can see the hole through the holes. You can see where the screws go. So then you just match this on. It's not complicated. It's one of those simple projects. Unlike the motorcycles that I'll show you that I put on this thing. don't have one of these drivers, these impact drivers, you need to get one because that's the only way to put screws and everything in. Okay, that's mounted on there now. See? And as you go through, you can see where the holes are to mount it to the other piece of wood. So now I take this, I'll show you how quick this is. I'll leave my spade bit away. Goal is always clean up your tools as you go along. That way, you don't lose your tools and it's easier to clean stuff up. Okay? So here, here. This is the turntable. This was not level. So we're gonna put it this way. Okay, you gotta find the middle of it. I almost poked myself in the eye. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be eight feet. It's not. It's eight and three quarters. So fast, what is that? Eight and three eighths. Uh, four and three eighths. So we go four, two, three eighths. That's my center. Go across. And 
we'll measure the center of this. This is seven and a quarter. So what's that half? Three and a half? Right there. There's my center. I take this. You gotta mount this on here. So if I you gotta mount the screws on it. So where are the screw holes? One, two, right here and here. Make these like this. One. This is like the quickest project that they have ever done. Fill them up with screws just so I don't want them to go off. Done. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Okay, next part, we gotta cut ramps on the ends of the wood. So I measured out two inches in, took my saw, put it on an angle, and we're gonna cut this. Okay, so listen to the noise for a second, and I'll show you when I'm done. sure this thing's covered before you put the saw down it's very dangerous okay so now you see i'll bring the camera up close here so what i did cut an angle so when you run the motorcycle up it it can go right up this little part right here right up here okay and i did it on both ends already okay so i'll take you inside and show you how this works be right back here you go this is how this works take your motorcycle Roll it up, nice and steady, nice and easy, back wheel goes up, now once you're up on here, level it, make sure you turn your motorcycle in the garage, pretty easy huh? Okay, make sense? You can turn any way you want. You want to go all the way around. You want to go all the way around. Done. That one's done. You back it off. And that's it. Okay? Subscribe if you like this. Very simple. It's really simple how this works. I'll show you. All right, this basically sits here and then you can just spin it around. And it goes right around. Okay, pretty cool. Any questions, ask me below. Subscribe, hit the like, the bell, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks. Crazy World of Jack Schneider, out.